been arrested, it would later update, I am with these people in this police station. He mentioned quite a well-known Russian poet, Yevgenia, uh, Yevgenia Lavud, uh, and, and others who had been arrested with him. So these, these are not just um, young kids, these, these, these are mature people in their 40s and 50s, as we've seen from that package just said, mothers going out saying they don't want their sons to be thrown into this uh, war in Ukraine. And although they were relatively small and they were quickly quashed, it is significant that Russians came out in such numbers last night, as we've just heard that the first time anything of this kind has occurred since February 24th and 25th at the beginning of the invasion. And in the aftermath then of the protests, what are you hearing about what's going on in the Kremlin? Again, that tell because there's nothing uh, official that there is information out there because I read the book. Um, word has it that uh, Putin has been thinking about this mobilization for months now, and as we've seen from the intelligence source, it's probably too late to have any before the spring in order to get people to chain them up and get them to the battlefield. Apparently, the Russians don't even have the resources uh, available to train these uh, people who want to pull back up. Um, I've read that Putin was going to make this announcement, we knew he was due to make this announcement on Tuesday evening. Apparently he uh, feigned a coughing fit, the doctors were called, and he put it off to Wednesday morning because he knew that it's, by the time it was out, he would be out of Moscow, he'd be on his way to a pre-planned visit to a city north of Moscow, which is what happened, and that city happens to be close to one of his presidential palaces in Valdai. And Putin does have a reputation the disappearing from sight when there are problems. Uh, when uh, uh, Nemtsov, the opposition leader, was gunned down near the Kremlin 